Well, guys. Oh my yes, god. Yes. It probably Might have just had one on there. We don't know. Uh, Carter and Nick are using a uh, bobber and egg setup, and Addison is using a twitching jig. But uh, right now, we're just finding some holes along the river and getting after it. We've seen quite a few roll. We did see one coho uh, get landed in a king, a really big king, just up at this hole right here. But uh, see if we can have any luck. Well, that's our first hole we fished. And uh, it didn't work out. Saw a couple of fish roll. Got next to caught one. Saw, I mean, we knew they were going in there, but we just got to find what they're biting today. And then hopefully we'll catch a couple. No, we will catch a couple. That's, that's your update. We're going to catch it. Well guys, we're moving spots. We're now heading just further down the river. We fished a hole for what, about an hour? Mm, 45 minutes. Fishing this overhang for some coals and twitching jigs. That was a good cast. He's gonna get blown up. No, he won't. Can happen? No. Oh, as you can see, someone right there has a nice king on. They just landed one before that, so. They already said that uh, once they catch their limit, they're going to let us slide into their spot. So hopefully that ends up working out. Just been going down, floating eggs, tw throwing twitching jigs for coho. Been trying it all. Had two bites possibly. Not 100% sure. But uh, we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Stay tuned for some fishing action. Well, guys. Nick, Nick lost a pretty nice one. Nick had a... Oh, probably around a 13 pounder on. Mm, yeah, probably. Yeah. And if you, cool and if you just look at his expression. Got him on the pink bead. He slipped off. Cardi's in barbers with him. He's devastated. That's fish. And just like that. Now this hook's pretty sunk in now. I'm good at knitting. I am good at knitting. Let's uh... I will tell you. I will tell you. No, I will tell you. No, I, I, I know when to use it. I won't even knit it if you look at this bad mix. Wow. Oh my god. All the drift boats starting to work out. Got our first... Official king in the drift on the line. He went for the tail grip. Keep it in the water. Keep it in the water. Well, there's the first king. How you feel, Nick? Nice king. Let's try to get a keeper, you know. It's a good king, I know. There she goes. Oh, there's a fish down there, too. Right down there, they got one. Right, let's get back in the water. We're gonna try and catch a couple more. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, got another one. Oh. I don't know if the egg bite turned on, but you got bit. It's getting down there quite a ways. I don't know, I guess. It's gonna come up. I see. I don't know. It's about to take off. Take the short, short. Yeah. Oh, no one is here to or. Definitely. Patrick. He wants to smoke. Oh my. Ready? 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 Go, go. Hit the oar. No, no. And nope. Watch the anchor line. It's right over there. Jeez. Ready? 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 Ready
Yeah. Hatchery. Hatchery. No one's going in the boat. That's a box. All right, get your gear out. Ooh. That is a That's a donkey. <laughs> yes, I lost the jigs. <laughs> Guys, see that? Nice Eggs fish, Carter. deep in the mouth. There's my nice fish of the day. Get yourself some Potsky right fire down. here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this fish. I told you I was getting bit. Dude, it is freaking forcing me. Dude, got another one. Actually, no, no. <laughs> no, no. That's fine. Careful, Careful fish, Yeah. yeah. It's a leak. I'm not doing it. Yeah, but the eye has a mark on my hand. Yeah, you do. There you go, Addison. Wow, that is good fish. First time netting Dude. on the first time ever. What? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Well, there's my limit. Wow, that's a big fish, dude. Oh. Dude, look at that hook tip. Right on the... That's what some good old eggs will do for you, right there. Peek in the nose, barbless so it pops right out. There's my second fish of the day. And it, oh my gosh, dude. Look at the size of that fish. Look at that. When you get back over to That's why you come out here, and try and catch these kings, because they can have some really good quality to them. It's probably 25 pounds. Maybe a touch more. Stay tuned. Hurt up to another one. Addison finally got one. He's missed like 10. But I finally got him in the Nice job, Addison. Nice. Alright, let's get some. We'll get, I'll get a picture for you. We got another one. This is our two, four, six. It is a coho. This is our first coho, though. Hard to look. Hard, hard to look. Oh, you got it. You got it. This must be a good. This is a good fight. It's a king. It's definitely. Watch the oar. Watch the oar. Not yet. Not yet. It's in the line. It's on. It's on. It's on. It went really close. Oh, it's, it's wild. I see the thing. No, it's cold. 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 It's cold.
got a minute verified. Give me some of that peanut butter crunch. Clips. It's definitely clips. Yeah. Bring that in. 100%. In the boat. Yeah, we will. Guys, we can check that yellow spot out. It's kind of a weird characteristic I've never seen on a uh, fish before. Anyway, very nice hatchery chrome king. If you guys know what that is, comment down below. We'd love to know. That yellow spot. Yeah, we know what the fish is. I'll hold you, I'll hold you, I'll hold you. It's a hatchery key. Put the rocket down, put the rocket down. Get in the middle. I want to make sure if the lungs get, or the gills get filled full of oxygenated water, so it'll take off and swim nicely. There we go. That's a healthy release. Okay, guys, this trip was a lot of fun. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it. Now we're going to go over some rod and reel setups. This is definitely fall and the rivers are showing. So we were float fishing for the majority of that day. So we were using llama glass rods. We were using some, the camera will focus and see what we were using. Nine foot four, 10 to 20. That works good. That works good in rivers where you're going to be targeting bigger cane co. You can get some leverage on those fish. Or if you want to go with a lighter setup. Here, this camera will focus. If you want to go with a lighter setup, maybe have some more fun if you're going for... So maybe just a river that just gets a small run of coho. Or a smaller grade coho, I should say. You might want to go with a little lighter rod. Another good option if you have a bait caster, that can be a good advantage to have control over the spool, would be go to contact Ryan Cook from Cook's Custom Rods. He makes these nice rods, has good policies, handmade, a nice nine foot rod would work very well. A little bit for the gear. Over here we are using one ounce and three quarter ounce floats under float stops with float weights. And then we were using about three and four out hooks for salmon with eggs. You can go check out our egg video and our float fishing setup video. That day on the river, we were using Seaguar 20 pound leader. I really like fluorocarbon because you can get away with using a stronger line and still have that clarity in the line. He saw Addison, he got a nice one on a twitching jig. Just make sure if you need to pinch your barbs in the river we were in, that day we did. And uh, these come in all different sorts of colors. In the morning, you might wanna start with maybe some lighter colors. And then as the day works on, maybe dial it down, stick to the naturals if you're in clear water. It really all depends on water clarity. So, hope you guys liked the video. We'll see you next time. Tight lines.